This is the video solution to question number seven on the final exam for winter 2012. And we're told here that a nursing magazine reported uh, the following model for staffing status at magnet hospitals nationwide. Uh, so this distribution here is nationwide. Okay. National. And the Arkansas Nursing Association conducted a survey with a sample of 500 chosen at random from non-magnet hospitals in the state, and this is what uh, was calculated for Arkansas. Okay. Letter A says, one goal of the Arkansas study is to assess if the model for staffing status for non-magnet hospital nurses in Arkansas follows the model for magnet hospitals nationwide. Okay. So our null hypothesis then is, does the Arkansas sample follow the national sample? So that means we're just going to write down the national sample then. So uh, P1 is going to equal 0.12 right from here. P2 would be 0.32 and so on and so forth. P3 would be 0.38 and P4 would be 0.18. Okay. Letter B says, in the Arkansas study, we observed 70 nurses that classified uh, in the staffing status to be more than adequate. How many nurses from this sample would we have expected to answer more than adequate if the model for staffing in Arkansas was the national model? Okay, well, for more than adequate in the national model, the proportion was 18%. So if that was true for the Arkansas model and we had a sample size of 500, then we would expect 18% of those 500 to respond more than adequate. And if I punch that into a calculator, that gives me 90. All right, letter C. The observed test statistic value turns out to be very large, and the corresponding p-value is very small. Assuming the model of staffing status for non-magnet hospital nurses in Arkansas does follow the model for magnet hospitals nationwide, so if the national distribution is correct, what distribution would have been used to find the corresponding p-value? Remember, to find our p-value, we use the test statistic. Okay. And our uh, test statistic for this type of test is a chi-square. So if I go to my yellow formula card, and I've got my chi-square section. This is a test for goodness of fit, because what we're testing or assessing is if the national model fits the Arkansas data, or if the Arkansas data fits the national model. So I can see here that if my variable y follows a chi-square distribution, then the, uh, then the distribution is just x squared, or chi-squared, uh, and then degrees of freedom in parentheses. And for goodness of fit, the degrees of freedom is given by k minus 1, or the number of groups minus 1. And in my question, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. So k minus 1, 4 minus 1, is 3, which is our degrees of freedom. And that's how we write the chi-square distribution. Chi-square, and then our degrees of freedom in parentheses, 3. Okay, and then letter D says, if the model of staffing status for non-magnet hospital nurses in Arkansas really does follow the national uh, model, so again, if the national distribution is correct for Arkansas, what would have been the expected value? Here again, my yellow card is going to be helpful. And I have the expected value for the uh, variable will equal the degrees of freedom. So my degrees of freedom, I calculated in the previous question to be 3. Okay. So that would be my answer. I would expect the chi-squared test statistic to be 3.